is associated with the fictional detective Sherlock Holmes. Type of headwear, bowler, deerstalker, trilby, sou'wester. It's worth four thousand pounds. It's a deerstalker. Confident? Yes. Final answer. Yes. Still confident? Yes. It's good. You got four thousand pounds. Now, I know you were saying that £4,000 was quite a serious amount of money to you, so let's not lose it. You've got £4,000, you've got all three lifelines. You've got 50-50, you've got phone a friend, you can ask the audience. Have a look at question number eight. It's worth £8,000. You'd lose £3,000 of the four you've got at this moment, Tanya, if you gave me a wrong answer. You're guaranteed £1,000. Have a look, you've got all three lifelines. Which Dickens character is visited by the ghost of Jacob Marley? Scrooge, Uriah Heep, Mr McCorver, Oliver Twist. Scrooge. Very confident? Yes. Final answer? Yes. Tanya, you had £4,000. You've now got £8,000. <laughs> Are you all right, Tanya? Yes, I'm fine. You look like you're going to fall off the back of the chair. No, I've got a cushion here. That's OK. <laughs> Well, you won't need one of those, of course. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Not when you've had your life no, perception. I will no, need, I will need help. OK, you've got £8,000. You can walk away with that. You lose £7,000 if you give me a wrong answer. Take your time, have a look at question number nine. It's worth £16,000. On which island was the Duke of Edinburgh born? Cyprus, Sardinia, Sicily, Corfu. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure. I think I'll, I'll ask the audience's advice. OK. You don't have to listen to these people. Just see what, uh, see what comes out. Right. Let's try and get Tanya up to £16,000, please. It's getting to be serious money. On your keypads, please, audience. This is the question. On which island was the Duke of Edinburgh born? A, B, C or D? All vote now. Thirty-three percent are saying Cyprus, forty-three say Corfu, um, thirteen Sardinia, eleven Sicily. You got eight thousand pounds, Tanya. You'd lose seven thousand pounds if you did give me a wrong answer. You stand to win sixteen. You still got a fifty-fifty. You can still find a friend. I'm going to go with Corfu. Is that the one you thought? Yeah. It's not high. Forty-three. It's not huge. Final answer. You just won sixteen thousand pounds. So nice. Do not lose this money, Tony. Do not lose this money. No, I, I know there's a huge amount here, darling. Sixteen thousand pounds. You've got it this moment. You've still got two lifetimes. Sixteen thousand pounds. You've got. You've still got a fifty-fifty. You can still phone a friend. I would be delighted, Tanya, to give you a cheque for £32,000. The next question, number 10, is worth that amount of money, but if you did go for it, you don't have to play this question. You could use both lifelines and still walk away. You've got £16,000, which is a lot of money to you, I know it is. If you did give me a wrong answer, you'd lose £15,000. Take your time, have a look at question number 10 for £32,000. You're six away from one million. Wildebeest. It's an alternative name for which African animal? Hippopotamus, giraffe, hyena, gnu. Wildebeest, an alternative name for which African animal? Hippopotamus, giraffe, hyena, gnu. You've got 16,000, Tanya. If you give me a wrong answer, you'd lose 15. It's worth 32. I'm going to phone my friend. <laughs> OK. Who's that? It's Paul Martin. Paul? Paul. OK. Hopefully uh, he'll know this. You don't have to take his answer. No. OK, you've got £16,000. You can walk away. Hello? Paul? 
Yes. It's Chris Town. Good evening. Oh, blimey, huh? Go, oh, blimey. Uh, <laughs> as you probably gather, we're in the middle of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I've got Tanya here. Right. She's on £16,000 at this moment. Right. Paul, with your help, we can get her up to £32,000. I'll do what I can. OK, yes, please. Next voice you hear, obviously, will be Tanya. She'll tell you a question. There are four possible answers. One of those is the right answer. It's worth £32,000. OK, Tanya, okay. time starts now. Paul, wildebeest is an alternative name for which African animal? Hippopotamus, giraffe, hyena, gnu. Uh, gnu. The answer. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely positive. Very, very positive. Very positive. Absolutely Thank positive. Thank you, Paul. OK. Good luck. Thank you. You don't have to play it. If you're wrong, you lose 15. I'll try 50-50. Okay. I dread what will come up. No, OK. <laughs> Computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Tanya just the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Oh, no. I trust Paul. I'm going to go with Canoe. <laughs> You don't have to. No. I would hate you to lose £15,000. It's up to you. It's your call. My son's probably worrying up there. <laughs> He's in a bit of a lather, yes. <laughs> you don't have to play it, but it's worth 32000 if you can't give me a right answer. You've got no lifelines left. Good name. Final answer. Yes. You had £16,000. You could have walked away with £16,000. a huge amount of money to your notice. You just won £32,000. I am so pleased to you, darling. Whatever happens, you go home with at least... What's my lips? £32,000. <laughs> Have a look, Tanya. Take as long as you need. You've got no lifelines. But you might as well play it, whatever. You can't lose this. It's worth £64,000. Question number 11. Have a look. Which of these people would perform a Veronica? Ballerina. Bullfighter. Figure skater. Singer. Now, you take as long as you need. You've got no lifelines, but it's worth £64,000. You've got nothing at all to lose. You've got £32,000. Which of these people would perform a Veronica, ballerina, bullfighter, figure skater, or singer for sixty-four thousand pounds? I don't know. <laughs> I think I would. What are you thinking? It would be an impossible toss-up between a figure skater and a bullfighter. They're very They're different. Right. They're very different, aren't <laughs> they? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> um, I'm going to go for figure skater. It's your call. I know. It could be any of them, couldn't it? Which of these people would perform a Veronica? It's worth 64,000. Veronica. I'm going to stick with figure skater. Final answer. I think so, yeah. I don't know. It's a guess. Final answer? Yes. Tanya, you came in here with £32,000 tonight. You've still got £32,000. Oh! I so wanted you to get 64000 The answer's bullfighter. That was my other choice. You had to go for it, you had to yeah. guess, and it was one of your two. You said bullfighter or yeah. figure skater. Hey, not bad, though. 
you go home with £32,000. Give her a big hand. Well done, Tanya. <laughs> Thank you. order in the fastest time is next to play for a possible one million pounds no calling out please in the audience they need to concentrate fastest finger first here comes the question starting with the lowest in value put these numerical terms in order starting with the smallest up to the one worth the most numerical terms four of them here they come three score and ten grand ton baker's dozen Looks of absolute shock and horror on the faces of the entire audience. But let's, have, let's see how our ten contestants did. Baker's dozen, 13, that's the lowest. Then going up, three score and ten is 70. Uh, then a ton is 100 and a grand, of course, is 1,000. Quite straightforward, actually. Let's see how many got it right then. Let's see who got it right in the fastest time. These got it right. Who was fastest? Dave Bailey in 7.73. <laughs> A... Surprise day, Dave. Yeah. Gobsmacked. Just a bit. You're not normally this quiet. Come on, then, you want to play for a million quid? Yes, yes right. please. That'd be nice. Just a bit of quid. This is Dave Bailey, a lorry driver from Langdon in Essex. Up there in the audience is his girlfriend, Anne who he's been going out with for three years. Now, Dave says he's been holding out from asking her to marry him because he hasn't had the money. But with £16,000, he says he will ask her. And Dave, if you get £32,000, she'll say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is this for real? Yeah. Is that the amount, 16000 Yeah, just enough to pay for the wedding and the engagement ring. Does she know about this? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and you've also you just got a house together. That's right. But you've got nothing in it because you've got no money. Basically. We've got a few bits and pieces, but we could do with some more. OK. OK, well, fingers crossed for you. Fingers crossed. We'll start all over again. Dave is just 15 correct answers away from winning £1 million. If Dave gets to the £1,000 or £32,000 milestone, at the very least, he'll leave with tonight and the new bride. He's, uh, he's got three lifelines. If he gets stuck, he's got 50-50. He's got phone a friend and he's got ask the audience. And remember, I don't have any answers here until Dave gives me his final answer and the screen goes orange. Ready for this, Dave? No. <laughs> Are you calm? Man? No. <laughs> okay, good luck. Let's try. Let's do it. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? For 100 quid, what's the small lift used to carry food and crockery in a restaurant? Dizzy server, dumb waiter, dopey assistant, daft steward. Uh, dumb waiter. It's the right answer. You've got 100 pounds, David. Yes. You'd really like to go now, wouldn't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's ever done that. I'm dying for somebody to do that one night. Have a look at question number two. You've got all three life lines. Which ring traditionally has a blue and a red corner? Bull ring, boxing ring, smoke ring, wedding ring. A boxing ring. You sure it's not a wedding ring? Not yet. <laughs> you look terrified. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. It's good, you've got 200 quid. Yeah. 